Welcome to the project demonstration of IoT DC motor speed and direction controlling using PIC microcontroller. So here we are going to uh, send the commands through the Wi-Fi module. So here we are using ESP8266 Wi-Fi modules to send uh, commands from the mobile phone and that will be received by this module and given as input to the PIC16F73 microcontroller. So here the commands are like to control the DC motor in forward motion we need to send the small f backward motion small b and the speed up means increase the speed uh, u small u and decrease the speed small d so f uh, b u d these are the four commands all are small letters so these are the four commands which we are going to send from the mobile phone to the cage so these commands will be given to the PIC microcontroller at B0, B1 pin as we have interfaced that at the B0, B1 pin and in order to control the speed of the DC motor so here we are using pin number C2 and uh, in order to control the direction we are going to use C6, C7 so these are the three pins connected to the L293D motor driver so L293D is a motor driver which can control the direction of a two dc motors so in our project we are demonstrating with one dc motor that's why we are using only one hp circuit along with enable pin enable pin is to set the speed and uh, here we can see that a1 b1 and uh, a2 b2 so here uh, b1 b2 are to control the direction of this particular dc motor coming to the dc motor ratings we are using 12 volt 60 rpm dc motor and here the power supply is from this 230 volts AC input to this transformer. So these two are commonly called as regulated power supply board. So they are the totally four stages. Transformation to step down the 230 volts AC to 12 volts of AC and the next that is input to this board. So here we can see the four diodes which are connected in a manner of bridge rectifier. So that we will convert that 12 volts AC to 12 volts pulsating DC and then in order to remove the pulses to get the pure DC voltage we will make use of 1000 microfarad capacitor so after that we will get 12 volts pure DC but the operating voltage for our microcontroller and Wi-Fi module is 5 volts and operating voltage for the DC motor is 12 volts so parallelly the 12 volts is input to this L293D motor driver as the operating voltage for the DC motor and that is parallel to this 7805 regulator which will take 12 volts DC and provide us the 5 volts constant DC output so that is the operating voltage to the motherboard and from there we are distributing that 5 volts to the ESP826 uh, ESP Wi-Fi module so on this motherboard so this is the reset switch to restart the microcontroller and this is a crystal oscillator which will uh, provide the 20 megahertz of oscillating frequency and this main chip is the microcontroller which is the main taking care of taking input from mobile phone through the Wi-Fi module and controlling the output DC motor through the L293D motor driver so before switch on the cage we need to do some initial steps in your mobile phone first of all we need to install the two application one is the juice SSH type this in play store install this application that is the icon of the application in the play store and network analyzer so this is the icon in the play store after installation these two applications now go to hotspot settings of your phone change the hotspot name to project 5613 without any space and without any capital letter and the password should be 12345789 so after this and the AP band should be 2.4 gigahertz these three are very important steps after that on the hotspot no need of data but we need to install this application initially and right now on the power supply to the kit so wait till this light getting on and off two times so this particular light so this is the power LED indication and this is the enable indication right no one's getting on and off two times now after that only after that only go to network analyzer application do LAN scan do the scan here right so there we get the two IP address one is our mobile phone and there is IP address of our gate copy that now go to juice SSH application in this you can see these options now manage connections add icon so here three steps ma one is a type telnet no native nickname address 
paste the address which we got from the network analyzer application and the ports 8080 so these three are the very important telnet ip address port now okay and now okay so this message you will get from the kit so if you didn't get this one if you're getting any, any other error switch off the kit and close this application and delete that uh, ip address from the manage connections and do settings from initial onwards you will get that now if you want to now the motor is not rotating first of all set the direction small f send you can hear the same buzzing sound as we are providing the low voltage initially i want to increase the speed u keep on enter small u till you see the speed rotation of the dc motor right you can see that the dc motor is rotating for every character entering from the mobile phone you can see one light is blinking here so when i'm increasing the speed of the dc motor till reaches the maximum speed it keep on blinking for every character input so once it stops the blinking rate as it is indication of it reaches the maximum level when you're decreasing the speed small d for same maximum level see now it is not responding that particular light is not responding rotating forward direction now let us change the backward direction small b the direction change same thing for the down let me decrease the speed can see that the motor is running very slowly okay so in this manner we are going to control the dc motor speed and direction by using iot technology through the mobile phone right